Sonic the Hedgehog's comeback these past few months has been absolutely incredible. In a short time, we've gotten both a really solid Sonic game as well as a really solid Sonic TV show. Sure, maybe one of his creators got arrested twice, but let's not focus on that. Instead, I started to speculate on what Sonic's future could hold for him, because literally he's been in every kind of game imaginable. We're talking sports games, RPGs, and even that weird shooter game. And from the deepest corners of my mind, with a dash of nostalgia and a pinch of childhood memories, I introduce to you Sonic the Fighters, a 1996 fighting game starring Sonic characters. Now, this old game was janky, but it had a bunch of personality, and it raised the question, what if Sonic characters were in a fighting game? And while there have been incredible fan games such as Sonic Smackdown, I want to try something else. I want to try Sonic the Fighters 2. And without further ado, Let's start by building our roster. Also, a quick shout out to Thorgy's Arcade for giving me the inspiration to do this video. That is right, we are bringing back all 11 characters from Sonic the Fighters into the sequel. And six of these fighters are very well known characters. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Eggman, Amy, and Metal Sonic. But the last five are characters that I know at least 90% of the Sonic fandom don't even know exist. Espio, who probably isn't as unpopular as I'm making him out to be, Bark, Bean, Fang, and Honey. Are they obscure characters? Heck yes. But do they deserve to be in this game? More than anyone. This is their territory. Sir, will you please stop staring at me? Where's the rest of you? I just realized I forgot to specify how many characters would be in the roster. Uh, whoops. But the base game would have 18 characters total, the same as upcoming Street Fighter VI. And because I need some limitations on what the DLC can bring, I limited myself to only 6 DLC characters, meaning 24 characters total. Now, would a company like Sega add more DLC characters? Probably. If this game is successful, there's no reason not to add more DLC characters, but I'm just lowballing it here. So, continuing on with the base roster, I'm just going to add characters that we all know that if a sequel was made to this game, these characters would absolutely not be left out to rot. It would be criminal to leave them out of this game. They are Shadow, Rouge, Blaze, Cream and Cheese as one character, Silver, Big, and Mighty. Now, I know Mighty might seem like a bit of an odd choice when it comes to popularity, as he's certainly popular, but just not to the degree of everyone else. But I really wanted to put all the Chaotix in here, and it just didn't feel right putting the majority of them behind DLC. And as to why I didn't add Vector instead of Mighty, because, you know, Vector is probably the most popular member of the Chaotix outside of Knuckles, well, I just kind of answered my own question. Vector is the second most popular character of the Chaotix. Of course, you'd rather pay for him instead of Mighty. But besides Mighty, all the other characters I mentioned fit pretty well within the popularity standards I put down. I mean, heck, even Big got some redemption during Sonic Frontiers. But with that, we are now done our base roster. So, let's move on to the DLC. That's right, folks. Longtime owner Mr. Krabs is opening a new restaurant called The Krusty Krab 2. First of all, congratulations, Mr. Krabs. Hello, I like money. All right, let's start with the characters that you guys already were spoiled about. Vector and Charmy, AKA the last two members of the Chaotix. Also, I'm sorry if I'm missing any additional characters to the Chaotix. I'm just going off the ones that were in Knuckles Chaotix. But now moving on to characters that I know I haven't spoiled you on, we have Sonic. Wait, didn't we already have- now, if you don't know, this is actually Classic Sonic, a completely different one from the modern Sonic that we know today, because there's apparently a difference. Now, if I'm being honest, both Classic Sonic and modern Sonic's movesets would mostly be the same, but the only thing I would really change, or the only really major difference I would add between the two characters, is that with Classic Sonic, he is actually the fastest character in the game, as move speed and attacking speed. But his attacks are the weakest in the game. And people can't be mad at that, because technically, Sonic is still the fastest character in the game. I hope my air quotations made it through the screen, it's kinda hard to tell. For my third last character, we have Styx, 
who was introduced in She was introduced in the Sonic Boom TV show. Yeah, let, let's just say that's where she's from. And although the Sonic Boom era of Sonic was way too divisive for a lot of people, I truly believe it does deserve to be represented in this game. And heaven knows I'd rather have that representation in sticks rather than tax evading knuckles. Approved. For my penultimate pick, we have another obscure character, Jet, from the Sonic Riders series. Right on these nuts, yeah! Also, with only one spot left, unfortunately, I cannot add either of the two Babylonian rogues because I have someone much better in mind, so I apologize. But the final character I will be adding to this game is one that has been around for a very, very long time, but yet still is one of the most divisive characters in Sonic's history. They are Sally Acorn. Now, if you don't know who Sally is, I wouldn't blame you. She's a really, really obscure character even for a lot of Sonic fans. But all you really need to know is that she's originally from the 1992 Sonic series, Sonic the Hedgehog, often referred to as Sad AM, where she was the main heroine of the show and Sonic's main love interest before Amy. But ever since then, she's been mostly relegated to the comics, and in all honesty, I'm not the biggest fan of that decision, but hey, that's just me. But I do hear some of you saying, oh, why is she going to be part of a mainline Sonic game? She hasn't even appeared in one before this. To which I say, yeah, this ain't gonna be a mainline Sonic game. This is just gonna be a fun little party game like Mario Kart or Mario Party or Super Smash Bros. Also, there have been rumors that Sally will be appearing in the upcoming seasons of Sonic Prime. So if you wanted to generate some hype for the show, make it so that this Sally comes from another universe and she's looking for her Sonic, which is not gonna be modern Sonic or classic Sonic. Not only would it explain why Sally has never been in a Sonic game before, but it would get people talking about your newest show. Oh. And speaking of different universes... What else can I do? Alright, in fighting game fashion, I have 99 seconds to explain this next part because I don't want to ramble on. Let's go! Three, two, one, go! Much like the original Sonic the Fighters, this game would be 3D much like Pokken and Tekken. You would start out the game with only the nine original characters from the first Sonic the Fighters game and would have to unlock everyone else through gameplay. Rings are in-game currency that you can use to buy alternate costumes. Every round is 30 seconds long and each match is best out of five. However many seconds are left by the end of the match combined are how many rings you get. Every three rounds you win in versus mode, a new challenger will appear, and if you beat them, you unlock the character. Every character will have a level 1, 2, and 3 super, and the maximum you can store is 5. While there would be no story mode, there would be an arcade mode where the main plot is that Eggman has perfected a mind control ray and is forcing everyone to fight each other to see who is actually the strongest out of all of them. And whichever character you've chosen will eventually win the tournament, you will eventually fight Eggman as you were broken out of your mind control due to the damage you suffered across all of your matches. However, I'd like to add a secret ending, where if you get perfect in every round up until Eggman, you will actually get the bad ending, where Eggman ends up winning, because your character didn't take any damage and thus can't be broken out of mind control. Also, after you win the tournament, but before you beat Eggman, you have to fight Metal Sonic, Orbot, and Cubot. But the only gimmick here is that Orbot and Cubot are one-hit KOs. Sorry. There will be 14 different stages, characters will have unique win quotes against each other, and every character will have a unique ending in arcade mode. Winning the tournament with either Eggman or Metal Sonic automatically gets you the bad ending. It's possible that create a character from Sonic Forces might come back. References like Omega running the settings, Sonya and Manic running the music, and intern Dave working at the shop are all going to be in the game too. Also, there's a gallery and character info section. I'm... All right. <laughs> okay. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Uh, th thanks for sticking around. I, I hope to see you all in the next video. And until next time, goodbye.